I'm Tim Burton, the director of Big Eyes. This is Banducci's nightclub in San Francisco, North Beach, but we actually shot in a strip club in Vancouver. This is a scene where, in the middle of sort of keen mania, uh, this is where Margaret first learns that Walter is basically taking credit for her work. Baby, what are you doing here? Why are you lying? Excuse me. One of the reasons I love the paintings and am fascinated by them because I grew up around them is not that I love them, I found them quite disturbing, you know, and the color schemes were quite lurid. And, and so we kind of took the color scheme of the film um, to kind of go off from the paintings. And there's something that's slightly off about it. And, and I used the, some of the films of Mario Bava as an example of the type of color schemes that, that, that we were going after. I also sort of found slight references to Hitchcock in the sense of their relationship. And I don't know if it's because it was based in San Francisco and the kind of Virgo, but the, the kind of controlling, kind of psychological, you know, horror love story kind of thing that, 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 that I felt their relationship was about. Who's that man? Uh, that is Bino Olivetti of Olivetti typewriters, but don't even think about it, Walter. He doesn't speak a lick of English. And, you know, it did have quite a following. I mean, at this time, this, this kind of art was certainly where I grew up was very, very present and, uh, you know, captured all sorts of people's attention, whether it be, you know, not mainly not kids. It was mainly adults who bought this kind of stuff, you know. It was always weird to see, like, people like this, you know, like being fascinated by, by the work. Um, Mr. Olivetti is enchanted by the painting. He would like to know who is the artist. And uh, I was amazed by Amy's performance in terms of conveying so much without having to do, you know, with keeping it all very, very internal. And I just found it, like, her performance very heartbreaking. I am. Uh, I mean, I almost cried several times on the set with her just looking, you know, not saying anything, just looking like that. It says so much with so little, you know. I mean, she's, you know, in some cases, the most under-the-radar, quietest feminist you've ever met, you know. 